the uh, the first thing I want to go over with you about is the different components that are going to make up this system. Uh, the The way it works is that you have a wand that is connected to a sensor belt. The sensor belt contains a uh, a brain system which controls you know the timing and has the the microchip and everything. And then there's two little sensor boxes that have uh, LEDs that are lit up in your team color, and they have sensors that can detect when you're hit. That is um, the player's interaction with this. Then um, you have a box uh, called IR main, which is an infrared main box. It's a it's a box that connects to the computer. And this box allows you to, um, you know, do things like record the score of, um, of who hit who. I'll go into more specifics as I show you the parts. I'm just trying to give you an overview of what this entails. And then, um, and then there's of course your own computer. And then there's system software that I wrote. Originally, I wrote the system software in um, C++ uh, for the Windows command line. But then I thought, well, command line is kind of old school and I love command line, but I know a lot of people don't. They like point and click. So I wrote a Windows interface in Java, and I think it turned out very nicely. And so now you can just point and click and, and do most of your stuff that way, and it'll do all the same stuff. It's a little bit more graphical. And so uh, between the system software, the infrared main box, and then all of your wand and sensor units, this allows you to play the game of um, infrared role playing. Um, here in a minute I'll go into the specifics of each part and, and give you kind of a demonstration. But, um, but overall, uh, you know, the main, the main idea of the game is that you set up your player through the system software. You know, you give your character just basically setting up players, just giving them a name initially. And then uh, each wand sensor unit has a unique wand ID. This cannot be changed. This is hardwired. Are programmed into the chip. So the wand IDs range from 0 to um, 14 because number 15 is reserved for the infrared main. So you can have up to 15 players, 0 through 14. And, um, and so basically the way you know you, you enter a character name through the software and then you um, click the to link the player to the wand you know on the Stooth software and so you, you just enter your character name and and uh, enter the one ID of the pack that you're using, and then it'll link it together, and then that way you can you know, join the game. And I'll go into detail about how this works, but uh, just to give you a general idea for right now, um, that's how it goes. And then once you activate, you know, you'll activate your wand, and once you start playing, you, know, you just shoot enemies of the opposing team. It automatically um, rejects um, if you hit a player of your own team, so there's no such thing as friendly fire. I prevented against that. But it also, interestingly enough, checks to make sure that you don't heal anybody of the opposite team. So um, it makes sure that you can't really be treacherous <laughs> with that. I, I don't know whether you like that or not. Some people might like it. Some people might want to make it interesting and allow that. I don't know. Maybe that's something I could make a customizable option later through the software. We'll see. But, um, but yeah, for right now, you can't heal enemies and you can't shoot friends. And then um, everybody has a certain amount of hit points, and once your hit points are exhausted, if you haven't been healed, then you will die. And then you're out for the game. And, um, or if the time runs up, the games are 10 minutes um, currently. So that is an overview of um, how the game works, and I'll get into the details piece by piece.